Hi, my name is Hirsch Nanda and I'm a senior at Basis Channel. Last summer, as a part of the University of Arizona Keys internship, I worked in Dr. Churko's laboratory to develop a user-defined software for robust cardiomyocyte contraction analysis. Cardiomyocytes are heart muscle cells that contract and expand to pump blood around the body. Current research into the measurement of these contractions is crucial for understanding cardiomyocyte physiology, pathology, and drug response. Although methods for cardiomyocyte contraction analysis currently exist, most are time-consuming and require extensive training and expensive proprietary equipment. The purpose of our research was to eliminate these concerns with a feasible alternative. For our analysis, I developed a function that would allow users to manually draw bounding boxes around cardiomyocyte contraction regions that they wanted to analyze. In the user interface, a cardiomyocyte monolayer video is displayed. As the video plays, you'll see certain areas of the monolayer contracting over the duration of the video. The user interface contains buttons that allow the user to create or delete their selected bounding boxes. After the user has drawn all bounding boxes, they may press the submit button to continue with the contraction analysis. The software was used to analyze two cardiomyocyte monolayers, a control monolayer where no treatment was added, and an experimental monolayer in which a treatment was added to alter the cardiomyocyte contraction rate. Post analysis, the software generated reliable contraction traces, which are measures of the number of cardiomyocyte contractions over a period of time, and correctly displayed an abnormally high cardiomyocyte contraction rate in the experimental monolayer. Ultimately, the program successfully analyzed the cardiomyocyte contraction rates with additional manual selection capability, and the results indicated a clear distinction between the cardiomyocyte contraction rates of the control and experimental monolayers. This software serves as a feasible alternative to traditional methods for cardiomyocyte contraction analysis and can be used for heart disease modeling. Additionally, this software serves as a useful tool where cardiomyocyte contraction parameters, including the force and speed of contraction, can be calculated for drug testing and treatment development. Although more testing is required, cardiac arrhythmias or a regular heartbeat could potentially be detected using this software.